homes have been destroyed and many displaced by the flooding incidences in different parts of the country and many have also lost their lives. But it appears relief is coming the way of some of those that have been displaced. Bayasa State is one of the severely affected states with victims temporarily taking shelter in IDP camps constructed by the state government. I need government to assist us here. Before, mosquitoes won't kill us with cold, but at least they don't give us a blanket and a mosquito tent and foam. The state's deputy governor, accompanied by a medical team from the Nigerian Air Force, is on an assessment visit to the camp. As much as possible, our duty, all of us collectively, to see that the discomfort is reduced to the barest minimum. I'm praying that the stay will be as short as possible so that they can actually go back to their place as soon as possible. It's a similar occurrence in Kano State as the state government is distributing relief materials worth 40 million naira and cash to those who lost their businesses to the floods. <laughs> Victims in the worst affected local government areas are the first beneficiaries of this intervention, which the state government promises to extend to other affected areas in order to ease their suffering. I want to use this opportunity to call on people entirely in Kano State in particular to be wary of this um, type of season or time and to make adequate measures and to also call on well-meaning Nigerians that, are, that have the capacity to assist, let them do that before such disasters occur. In the coming days, it is expected that the state government will continue to make efforts to ease the pains resulting from the effects of the flooding in different parts of the country.